welcome back to a very exciting episode of our ongoing office 365 it is very exciting because it's about skype i've been meaning to make this video but uh, um, a because i work on skype at my work b because i thought that microsoft has retired it and i was not finding it in the dashboard here um, admin center like if you go all the way it's not there even if you click on all admin center you don't see it and once you start search for it it's not there so I saw in previous like or oh, on the old screenshots and videos Skype admin center was there uh, I know for a fact that uh, Microsoft uh, tried push Yammer in uh, um, to replace uh, Skype it was not so much successful people did not like it much so finally Microsoft is now pushing teams so teams is very big Microsoft uh, uh, want this to succeed so much that they have almost removed Skype from um, the office 365 areas and I as I was searching on this I'm gonna show you in another video uh, it was really hard to find uh, where exactly is Skype and I didn't know that Skype was called you know, way back link anyway so what I did was you know um, all right let's close this up so what I was doing is on my main computer right here the host computer I launched Skype the other day and you see it's just the Skype uh, Skype for business is is it installed or open okay I can open there is one ah okay I'm not gonna mess with that for, for right now but I can use that actually yep I don't know so this is Skype for business but let's see I what I was doing is I was just going with the Skype so I just found something <laughs> uh, messing around poking around is a good thing so I was giving Ali at uh, my domain it was not working so I did Aslan so basically what happened is I downloaded Skype for business on my phone and Aslan signed up right again so just now uh, like maybe half an hour ago I tried with Aslan no it gave me sign in option I was like forgot my username I did everything like enter the email address and it says we don't recognize this so let's see I, th I thought that I have to download it but quickly we can try on this one if it oh, should not have done that anyways let's see if we can sign in Ali I'm doing Ali because Aslan is right now signed in on my cell phone contacting server and signing in so it's not throwing that error right at my face and yes I am in I think so Microsoft is pushing go to teams or start Skype for business exactly the same way they tried on the mobile device I think I am in I'm gonna verify and yes Ali is in and it's showing offline let's make him <coughs> see go to teams so Microsoft is pushing really hard I don't know why it's saying offline I'm online all right so settings files <coughs> excuse me okay that is weird all right so you see is it there no all right so we can you know so in order for you to log in through your office 365 you have to log into Skype for business and not for regular Skype so where did I find Skype um, so you see Skype is not here then I went to this and nothing there in one of the my like I search it said hey go here and there will be a link to you know software or Skype something like that you can do that then it was like setup you can go to in one 
because um, I think Microsoft introduced Office 365 in 2013, 2020 just started. So over the year they have been revamped, rechanges and upgrades and all that. So you see nothing that like setup used to have like you can do. So finally I went to office.com. I remember where I downloaded the install office and I thought maybe it's part of the office and then I saw the other install option so I clicked on it I hope uh, I I'm going the right way and it says install view apps and devices all that so I clicked on apps and devices right here on this one and then I saw Skype for business and I was like okay so it's I'm not sure if it's part of the office or not I think it is uh, but we can download install just the Skype so we're gonna save file go get to the file and run it and hopefully I can log in through that so it's getting things ready and it's gonna probably install just the Skype so I'm not installing the whole office I don't need it right now So let's get back to that one and see why Ali is offline. What's happening today? We have no idea. Ali is offline. Ali should not be. Enjoy your IMs corner. Your IMs and calls are going to Microsoft Teams. So you see, they have. Oh, let's go here. All missed and called. So at this Skype for Business, I think is a lot change uh, than the one I use at work it's about the same uh, but there is a search bar as well and then we can this is clickable so I think that is because the uh, like really phasing it out and pushing uh, um, teams in so this is your meetings well like if you have a schedule something or not this one you have in this tab you have all everybody this one is the missed calls and this is the, the call history kind of thing and then uh, not only just calls but your chat history as well and this is the missed conversation here oh it says conversation here so basically at work what happens if I miss a message from somebody and I do not see it like don't click on it for like I think five or ten minutes uh, a message in the history uh, in the conversation itself says this has been saved in your conversation and when you get to Outlook there is a tab for conversation and you have all your chat saved there then there is another like uh, search function like I said um, it's like uh, and the search function <coughs> you can search uh, organization wide so uh, imagine spectrum or charter uh, they have in multiple states um, and they have everybody on it not just agents uh, everybody from uh, like grassroots level to all the way up to the top executive and you know all the field agents operations supervisors um, everybody everybody has uh, skype so imagine for some it, it may be tens or thousands tens of thousands of people there so we can just search it so if I search by name uh, it shows me all of the people with the name for example if I s search John Wick <laughs> it shows me everybody and it, it shows their title as well he is a rep represented work in video he's a supervisor he's a dispatch all that so if it's um, and then I have to you know if it's a lead it's a whoever then I have to find the person that I'm looking for click on it and then send them the message uh, then there is a more precise way is if you know their ID like the numeric ID so for on the floor the person they know that it's gonna be uh, big names so they normally type PI uh, your numeric ID for you so let's see and if Skype is there. Skype for business on the Perita because it's recently been added. So let's go fire it up. 
and accept enter the username let's add a, I don't know who to add I think Bill has Bill is oh okay I saw the available here let's X sign him out okay let's change it here to S and H please connect nope so team Oh, this business basics. What does that mean? This is 16. What this which one is this one? <coughs> this is 2019. So that could be an issue. Let me sign out. How do I sign him out? He's just like stuck there now. Sign out. It is available here. Enter bill. And bill is signed in, right? All I have to do is just enter password. And start Skype for business and there is bill <laughs> surprisingly um, it's signing them in on 2019 not in 2016 um, there's not even an option to update it but in both place uh, no not here sign in change sign in address I know okay all right so it could be an issue with office 365 backend latency or something I know Aslan and Ali they are both signed in on my mobile device maybe that's why uh, it's taking time or whatever is rejecting I'm gonna now we have to wait for this one okay so you can see that Microsoft is really hard pushing it for come on let's disable that where it is it's not even there disable um, just full screen so all right more like it good the way i like it so add your photo now it's a little bit responsive so bell is signed in i don't know what's going on here is it not responding let's cancel and Let's see. Let's task manager and end this. Skype for business and task. Maybe that I haven't. Let's restart this machine. Restart. And Skype for business. So you see, Microsoft has really pushed very, very hard uh, for the teams. So this is like just a. I don't know if this video is even helpful uh, if Microsoft has almost kicked uh, Skype to the curb but I did Microsoft for um, has this admin center really like hidden deep but even the it's like almost certain I I think it's if it's not a uh, matter 
of weeks in a few months skype is completely gone uh, let's go here give it one last try for the skype uh, i i show you that it's working over here so let's sign out here i wanted to actually get that search function so bad so i can send receive uh, send an uh, messages but I, I'm sure all of you have already used if not Skype but then some sort of uh, instant messaging uh, if you any of you remember the good old days of MSN messenger and then there was duplicator like you could run multiple instant instances of MSN messenger and then there was a merger of MSN and Yahoo so where is the Skype? It was loading right there. Start Skype. And you see, Aslan is uh, in. Um, unfortunately, again, now it's saying away. So it's a little bit slow catching up back on the back end. Um, I still don't have access to my peoples or uh, like contacts. I don't know if there's a context tab here. Nope. So we can see these options if you don't. Uh, if you, you can send or see file, so we do it like a little bit. Uh, our images file, so that's a history. This is the conversation history. Again, I, from it's in your outlook as well this one is very important always on top uh, not not important it's like uh, useful so if you run multiple instances of different uh, programs like uh, we do at work so if you click on it this skype stays always in front like uh, even for example if i do this you see even if i click type skype stays on top but if i go and if i go and click on <coughs> then skype goes in the back so it's a neat tool i keep it like on the right side so I, I have actually two monitors so i don't have to i i'm very good with clicking and all that <coughs> all right so this is the overview of skype it started working a little bit now it's skype basic uh, Microsoft is going through a lot at the moment I'm gonna keep an eye of this if it start giving me the option of uh, search and all that but I doubt that because they I, I downloaded team on my phone uh, it's neat and it, uh, it has all my contacts I can send the messages and all that so I think it's almost goodbye to Skype all right I'm gonna wrap this video here if you like this video please rate comment share subscribe and you have a good night.